Hey you guys, welcome to another video here on Lazy Housewife. Today I've got three super simple and easy slow cooker meals for you guys to try out. Stick around when the recipes are done because I end my video with some cleaning motivation. This video was super fun to make for you guys, so let me know in the comments if you'd like to see more. So for the first slow cooker meal I'm going to share with you guys is actually my kids' favorite. It's garlic butter chicken. I make this once a week and the kids literally will polish their plate clean, which is a struggle in itself. And it's funny because it's such a basic meal, but I kid you not, every time I make this, dinner time is like pin drop quiet. Everyone loves this. This is my solid go-to dinner. And the ingredients are super simple. All you need is chicken tenderloins, garlic, unsalted butter, and potatoes. I'm going to start off with putting on a slow cooker liner. You don't need this. I usually only use it for this meal because it makes the chicken like extra tender and the cleanup is mess free. You just toss the bag out after dinner. Once you put your chicken in the crock pot, which I use about 10, the next step is to throw your stick of unsalted butter into a pot to basically melt it down. Now you can totally skip this step and just slice up the butter and throw everything in there, but this is sort of the official way to do it. Then after you put your butter in, you're going to put in two teaspoons of garlic and some salt and pepper. You can totally use fresh garlic if you'd like. I typically just use the Spice World minced garlic because it's always in the fridge and just easier for me. And that's the point of these videos, right? Like being a busy mom, you just want quick meals sometimes. So yeah. And as you just saw, go ahead and pour the butter all over the chicken and make sure to save a little bit to top the potatoes off with. But sometimes the garlic will sit at the bottom and when you pour the rest on the potatoes, the potatoes will just absorb all the garlic. So definitely make sure to put most of the garlic on the chicken. Then go ahead and cut your potatoes in quarters. If you make this, I insist you use Yukon Gold Potatoes. So, so much better, but I had just run out of mine. That's why I'm using regular. And then go ahead and pour the rest of the butter onto the potatoes and add a little more salt, pepper, and parsley if you have it on hand. But if you don't, I definitely recommend that you try to get your hands on some and use it for this recipe. Now depending on how long you want to cook it for, you can either cook it on low for 8 hours or high for 4 hours. And then this is it after 4.5 hours and then it was left on warm until we were ready for dinner. It's really really good and super easy to make and my family loves this one. And this is it. We usually just make a side of veggies to go with it. My husband was in charge of them this night and that's why they're all like mush. But the chicken is so tender and buttery but yet feels like such a light, healthy-ish meal. So yeah, definitely try it. Okay, so for the next um, slow cooker meal, what I'm going to be using is um, the Scamble slow cooker packet. Um, this is the tavern style pot roast. What you're just going to need, I guess what I'm doing because it just calls for two to three pounds of roast. So I just got this sirloin roast um, and then I'm going to go ahead and add some potatoes in there. And then I'm going to add an onion and then carrots. And I did have a big bag of carrots, but I didn't know the kids had already gone into it. So this is all I have left. Okay, so I'm just going to pour a little bit in there for right now before I put the potatoes in. Um, and then I'm going to pour the rest afterward. So next I just cut my onions. Then I'm going to go ahead and add the potatoes. The kids were being super loud, so I'm going to go ahead and jump on real quick. Um, I felt like I needed more potatoes, so I just added some regular ones. But I do recommend to use Yukon Gold potatoes for this meal. And then lastly, go ahead and top it off with the rest of the sauce. And I recommend adding a good amount of salt because when we were eating, we were all grabbing for the salt. So I just needed to add a little bit more. And then you're going to go ahead and put it on high for 5 hours or you can do like a low 8 hours and try not to open the lid to check on it because it just loses its heat every time you do that and it'll have to like reheat back up. And especially for a roast, they need to like really sweat so it can be tender. So after the 5 hours, I made sure to put it on low, not warm, so it could continue to sweat. It'll just like completely, like I'm not even putting any pressure at all. Just shredding apart. Right. So we're gonna plate that real quick. And it came out perfect. It was so good. Everyone in the house loved it. The flavor was amazing. It just needed a little extra salt, but I definitely recommend you guys try this one. So for this last recipe, all you're gonna need is some chicken tenderloin, salsa verde, and green sauce. Dump it all in the crock pot, and that's it. That's the end of the video. No, I'm just kidding. Um, but seriously, this is literally a dump meal. No, I don't make my own salsa verde or green sauce. This is my lazy housewife recipe for some chicken tacos. 
And as you guys can see, go ahead and dump your chicken and the entire jar of salsa verde and then eyeball the green sauce until the chicken is like almost fully covered. Which speaking of tacos, that's what I'm going to be making with this chicken. I mean, you could totally serve this with some white rice and call it a day, but I'm just going to show you what I make to go with it. So for the sides, I'm going to make some Spanish rice and I'm not going to show you guys the recipe because I don't know, let me know if you guys even care to see that recipe. And then I'm going to fry up some potatoes because I was feeling in the mood for some. And then we also just warmed up some pinto beans and fried the tortillas um, for the tacos. And then once it's all done, go ahead and shred the chicken, which should be super easy to do, and then make your plate. My family, especially my husband, really loves this one. It's so good. And that is going to be the end of the cooking portion of this video. And I just wanted to end off my video, of course, with some cleaning clips for those that are new or anyone that would just like some cleaning motivation. But before we jump into this cleaning motivation, I wanted to share a small clip of last week's video, which is my productive morning routine. So here we go. Hey you guys and welcome to my productive morning routine. If you're here for the cleaning motivation, don't worry, this little morning bit is only about three minutes and then I've got lots of cleaning for you guys. After, I wanted to chat with you guys and walk you through my morning routine and how I like to start my day off um, on the right foot. Close your eyes Get some rest I'm by your side Lay your head on my chest so this particular morning, the baby was already in our bed and after we have our morning snuggles, I'll go ahead and open up the curtains to let some fresh sun in. And one thing I have to do in the morning is make my bed. This is probably the number one thing I have to do to help me have a productive day. The world could fall down, it's gonna be okay. The sun could go out, we're gonna be and then of course I'm going to be doing the usual like brush my teeth and wash my face and then I'm going to be putting on some workout clothes for my morning workout which you guys will see in a bit. So before I get started on my workout, I like to keep breakfast super quick and simple for productive mornings. I do not like to do a big production in the kitchen because that will quickly drain my energy for the day, the kitchen will be messy, and then I'll end up talking myself out of working out. So I make sure these mornings are super simple, which by the way, I didn't want to show too much because I'd like to do a separate video like a mommy morning routine because if you didn't know, I do have four kids. It's over now, so don't despair Okay, so yeah, I just wanted to share that little bit with you guys. If you'd like to watch the full video, I included it up at the right corner, either now or like in that previous video. Let's go ahead and finish this video off with some cleaning motivation.
So I just wanted to hop on real quick for those that are still here and if you're enjoying this cleaning satisfaction make sure to subscribe to my channel because my niche is cleaning but I'll try and add like other things inside my videos like recipes or mini vlogs. By the way if you're watching and you do not have an account I definitely recommend to create an account. It's super easy to do. It's just like having an Instagram and that way you'll be able to subscribe and follow all your favorite YouTubers. We hurt each other's feelings on and on I don't want to change who you are Who you are What you say is always a step too far But I know that I've played my part I'm hurting you as well I guess the way she takes and that is going to be the end of my video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know in the comments which recipe you guys are looking forward to trying. And subscribe if you're new. Also follow me on Instagram. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.